also friends, and of course, um, having myself protected with the health insurance plan. That's, uh, what about you, Jen? <laughs> I... <laughs> Run. You run. I run out of money. No, I'm kidding. Um, actually, I make sure to get at least seven to ten thousand steps a day. Uh, you don't. I think when it comes to health, each has their own uh, way of uh, working out. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a rigid type of uh, uh, diet or exercise. As long as it's you're doing something to keep yourself moving, staying fit, diet, balancing everything. I think that's the the great thing about it. Everything in moderation. Amen. All right, so let's go to our final question. Is this? We still have Can you know three questions. <laughs> three more questions. Sorry. Okay. Um, we have uh, Jojo Padaligan of Friday PH. Hi. Um, yung first question ko kay uh, Carla. Carla, paano in address ng Sun Life yung COVID uh, uh, situation, especially at its height? I understand kasi na ang kinocover lang na illnesses ng Sun Life ay may listahan yun, di ba? And COVID came to us uh, from out of nowhere. So, natulungan ba despite na wala yung COVID sa listahan? Okay, so that's true, no? So, how did Sun Life respond? It was actually featured in one of those videos. We came out with Sun ICU Protect because we recognized that the COVID-19 situation put a lot of Filipinos um, um, in a peril perilous um, uh, circumstance. So that particular product was meant to address that. But apart from that, during uh, before we launched the Sun ICU Protect, Sun Life also extended um, assistance to our policyholders who were stricken by COVID. How did we do that? We expedited claims, um, especially for hospitalization benefits. We expedited claims as well for death claims. Apart from that, Sun Life also gave out um, uh, life insurance protection coverage for healthcare workers during that time. Uh, apart from those, also our philanthropic efforts through our head office in Canada, even locally, we um, donated uh, PPEs to healthcare workers as a form of protection for these uh, for our frontliners. So, but as far as product is concerned, we did come out with Sun ICU Protect. Pero may chance ba na masama ang COVID sa list of illnesses, or if something similar arises in the future, like another pandemic, knock on wood. Okay, so the way we define critical illness, um, COVID-19 at that time was it's something new. No one was, to be honest, no one was prepared that it was going to be a pandemic. Now, was it a critical illness at that time? Yes. But today, as far as we know, we already have the vaccines. Um, the death rate has drastically gone down. So I would say... It can be a part of a critical illness at that time, but this day it's not. But you can still claim for it from your health insurance protection if you have a particular benefit which we call daily hospital income benefit. So it means if you're hospitalized, regardless of the illness, you get a certain cash benefit guarantee. And so still it can be covered even though it's not specifically mentioned in the contract that it's COVID-19. Thanks. My last question goes to uh, Piolo. Piolo, I'm sure when you realized how important uh, insurance is to people, you uh, went out of your way or maybe even invited uh, your loved ones to, to get one, no? Uh, ano yung napansin mong uh, dahilan or kung saan nagagaling yung hesitation ng Pinoy kung ba't ayaw nilang kumuha and what was your counter argument to convince them? Uh, one of the first things I did when I started out, uh, when I started working of course was of course you get insurance and then eventually right away my, my son and my family, uh, all my siblings and the rest of the family. I guess uh, there's a misconception I say, about insurances, and so that's why, you know, I'm happy with how Sun Life has handled it through the years. You know, coming out with different policies and, like see Miss Carla, it's just a walking Sun Life information. Anything you have to know, you can just ask her. That's why we also have financial advisors. It's important to have that kind of relationship, a personal relationship, that's so that you can explain to your clients or, uh, you know, uh, people who are interested 
to get uh, the kind of information that they need to know because back in the day, indeed, manati alam to mga tao, diba? So now we made it more personal. That's why we have the financial advisors that get attend to you personally and uh, just explain everything so that you will know it better or to explain it to you better. Um, what can you add to that, Ms. Carla? Um, siguro, I would say it's a matter of um, perspective, like Piolo mentioned a while ago. Um, being financially disciplined takes a while, so that behavior needs to be nurtured, I would say. So we were lucky because um, Piolo himself is financially disciplined. I mean, he had that perspective at the onset. And so he had that ready um, mindset to when he talks to a financial advisor, to cheat, you know, na, I, I want to grow my money, I want to protect my income, I want to be able to afford things and grow my wealth for uh, for my son and my loved ones. And so I would say it's really a matter of um, showing Filipinos the value of insurance, why you need it, why it's crucial to have it, especially if you're... Um, uh, especially if you have, I would say, um, predisposed to certain illnesses. Because just one illness, um, it can plunge a family into poverty. And so this is what this is what we advocate. Um, that's why if you noticed, uh, Sun Life is very big on financial education because we also um, uh, we're also um, cognizant of the fact that. Not many Filipinos really appreciate no, uh, the benefits of having life insurance and health insurance. And so this is why we need you, the media, to become our allies in getting more Filipinos educated on why it is important to be prepared. And also, you know, using ambassadors like us to be able to send a message across better. <laughs> That's true, yes, because uh, Filipinos, we love Piolo. <laughs> and so it helps because uh, Piolo is also a walking billboard of Sun Life. <laughs> Any follow up question to that? Yeah. That's it. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Jojo. Next, we have Matthew Perez of Daily Tribute. Hello everybody, this is Matthew Perez from the Daily Tribune. Uh, my question will be for both Carla and PJ. Let's start with Carla. Carla, there are a lot of people who may not have discovered insurance yet, and a lot of the, you know, the biggest importance that financial advisors are stressing is to start young. What about those who are, say for example, already in their mid-30s? Uh, they, you know, you, you will see stuff on Facebook that you won't get as much if you invested in your 20s as opposed to when you invested in your 30s. How would you address this? Wouldn't this be encouraging to people who are, say, in their mid-30s onwards? So I would say it's never too late, no? Um, of course, uh, in our... Okay, I'll, I'll, um, I'll message it first. Why do we advocate people to get the insurance early? The reason for that is the premiums are lower or more affordable when you're younger. Now, it doesn't mean that you cannot be covered with insurance already when you're in your mid-30s. What we're saying is it's never too late to start preparing for the future. And so, um, even though we have policy owners who started even um, at their 50s, at their 60s, Maybe they get it for their loved ones. Maybe they use it to prepare for retirement. And so there's really not an optimal age to get it. So what we're saying is it's never too late to start. All right. All right. Thank you. And for PJ, my question would be, what financial advice are you going to give people from all walks of life, particularly your fans? Well, take it from me, uh, like how I started and how I uh, envisioned, you know, my career, uh, that it's work. And, you know, you work for the money, you work for your passion, and you have to set aside a certain part of your income, uh, not just for yourself, but for your family and your family's future. And it's really important for us to uh, give extra care to ourselves, our needs, our well-being, so that we'll be able to enjoy the fruits of our hard work. And yeah, just 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 give importance to life. I mean, and enjoy enjoy your life, you know, uh, when you can with your loved ones, and be practical about things. 
you know. Uh, these are all practical things, you know, eating healthy, living right, having the right, the right mindset, and uh, giving importance to your mental health. And uh, don't splurge on things you don't really need. And be, be, be wise, be wise with your earnings, be wise with your income, and always set aside some, some, something for yourself and your family for the future. So these are the things that I live by. Thank you so much. Ready? Anong masasabi mo sa video ng ito? Tara, pag-usapan natin yan sa comment section. And also subscribe and click the notification bell para maging updated sa mga showbiz happenings.